Tired of toilet paper? Throw that in the trash. How to install a bidet. Looking at some of the pieces it comes with. Got our supply line, Teflon tape. We'll even give you some wrenches. And here's the bidet itself. Turn off your water supply. Here is our water going into the toilet tank. Here is our water supply valve. I'm gonna turn it to the right until it stops turning. Remove the water supply hose by turning this nut to the left. Do it slowly, just in case for some reason your water shutoff did not shut off all the way. I also have a rag down here to catch any water. Step two is gonna be to remove the toilet seat. These um, pull up, there's a Phillips head screw here. Some may have a flat head screw. And there is also a nut at the bottom. Not every toilet seat is removed like this, but this is how this one is. Use a screwdriver or a drill to undo the toilet seat bolts. Lift up the toilet seat. Step three, mount the bidet onto the toilet bowl. Comes with a couple of these pucks. You need to line these up with the hole. Reattach your toilet seat the same way you took it off. Use the same hardware. Give the toilet seat a wiggle. Make sure everything's tight, but not too tight. Next, we have our T adapter. Make sure that the O-ring is in there. We're gonna install this to the fill valve underneath the toilet tank. Pull these plastic pieces off. I'm gonna grab my supply hose, hook it up to the bottom. One trick is if you kind of turn this to the left and try and thread it on, and then to the right, this is metal on metal. We don't want any cross threading. Apply some Teflon tape to the threads. You always want to go clockwise with the threads when applying Teflon tape. Grab the water supply hose that came with your bidet and hook it up to the junction T. This one even kind of comes with its own wrench. We're now going to hook our quarter inch supply up to the bidet itself. Just hand tight. And then it's also got a, this one also comes with a wrench for the quarter inch. I'm going to hold one hand here and just kind of snug down on it. Next, we are going to turn on our water supply and check for leaks as we're going to open this slowly. There you have it. When testing your bidet, you don't want to do it unless you are sitting on it ready to go. This is what it would look like without me sitting on it. All bidets pretty much work the same. I'll leave a link to the description of this particular bidet that I installed if you would like to get it and try it out yourself. That's going to be it for me today. If anyone wants to buy a used toilet paper holder, hit me up in the comments below. I'll ship it out. I don't know, maybe about 15 bucks for this bad boy. But until the next fix, I'm Dave. Hope to see you there.